Watch out! Apollo Justice Ace Attorney is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB content rating system due to it featuring mild blood, suggestive themes, and violent references? Whatever those are. Oh well, viewer discretion is advised for this Let's Play series. Hey there, Artie! I'm Marty. Oh, say can mm. you see we're playing Apollo Justice on the 4th of July, by the way. Yeah, it's it's almost July. certainly not going to be uploaded on the 4th it's of America's July. prideful day. <laughs> not, not prideful, celebratory. But also, yeah, Pride we're, we're the best country America. in the whole world. No, this is definitely, <laughs> like, if you watch Liberty's Kids, this is definitely the day that they're just like, Hey, Britain, <laughs> yeah, like, rub it in their face, like, we made a constitution. Yep, that's what happened. Any I don't know if that's what happened. That's just what happened in Liberty's case. Anyhow, we're playing Turnabout Serenade. We're still on the day two investigation. We right. just talked with Mama Wa. Oh, yeah. Uh, dressing room st or stage? I want to go to the stage, man. July Some 9th things look in different. the wings. That song. Isn't that the one Lame Wa was singing? Yeah, you're right. The guitar serenade. Wow, I'd love to do a show on a stage like this. I'd come see that. The house is full and there's one the audience sighs with wonderment. There I am, singing my ballad, rose petals swirling through the air. Not bad. Wait, aren't you a magician? Oh! That's right, I was a magician, wasn't I? Some dedication. Hey, Colonel Mustard. Aha, if it isn't Miss Trucy, and indeed it is. Uncle Valen! What exactly are you doing here? I take real responsibility and tasks undertaken. I'm inspecting my equipment of illusion to make sure not is amiss, miss. The Lamewa teleportation illusion. Ooh! Should anything go wrong, it would reflect poorly upon me and my troop. As I went about my exacting examination, I happened to notice that piano. And I remembered that fair lady's melancholy melody. Hey, Apollo, maybe Uncle Valet can shed some light on this whole thing for us. Please do, Mr. Banks. Please do. I was wondering about the show of the Night of Murder. Lemme was vanishing after your illusion, right? Indeed. The purple prosecutor petitioned my performance. At the climax of the song, he said, Make her disappear. Like a dream. Like a dream. Yet, what can I work with on a stage meant for a musical endeavor? Hey! you can do on those stages. There are none of the conveniences of a stage built for sorceress acts. It was a challenging task, and so I accepted. She disappeared from the top of the tower. But in order to move, you would have, would have had to use some sort of secret tunnel. Secret, secret tunnel. tunnel! Secret tunnel. People come to me because I am a professional among professionals. My illusions are custom made for a time and a place. Now, because of the murder, all the eyes of the nation are on this concert. Not a bad thing as far as the fortunes of troop grammarie are concerned. So, you are here checking up on your trick to make sure it went well. And went well it did. Now, speaking of pianos. That piano over there troubles me. It troubles you? Why? Why? Why do you ask why? I think it's probably quicker if I just go check it out myself, thanks. I know what you were thinking in that head of yours. Grammarie, yes, you say. I recall seeing him on television. Something of that sort. Um, actually, yes, you're right. Wow! He just read your mind, Apollo. Or everyone tells him that and he made a good guess. It was 20 years ago. A young magician, a genius of his time, came down among us. Like, came down from what? His name was Magnify Grammary. He was the one who began the great troop Grammary. At his prime, not a day passed that he did not play upon the screens of every TV there was. I do have a vague memory of something like someone like that on TV. Yet several years ago, that time came to an end. My troop pulled a vanishing act, yes. Cries for magic no longer heard, the TV screen a barren waste, stripped of illusion. Th that's not true! I still went to all of your shows. Like that one in the parking lot down at the supermarket. When you start playing supermarket parking lots, you know you're in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Come see Valen Grammarie at Walmart's parking lot. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. 
We hone our skill at these small venues, always awaiting our time. Yes, one day we will rise up from obscurity into fame's shining stage once more. I do this not only for the magic that is Grammarie, but for my partner. Your partner? You mean... Yes, Zach Grammarie. Tracy's father. Before he disappeared seven years ago, there was no name higher than Grammarie in show business So circles. probably None. what probably what happened then was the troop was involved in that case that Phoenix Wright did, and he died and he's like, Well, you've got a daughter you left behind. How about I take her in? I gotta do something now okay. that I can't be a... Uh, uh, I was about to say a prosecutor, but a defense attorney. All right, interesting theory. I will see us return to glory. I, Valent Grammarie. Cool. Our founder, Magnifi Grammarie, was truly a genius, a worker of miracles. I'll never forget the one I saw when I was little. How he made that whole jumbo jet go, um, what happened to the jet again? Apparently someone doesn't remember it as well as they thought. Of all the would-be magicians who came to his door, only Zack and I had the talent. In no time at all, Valent and Zack were the shining stars of the Grammarie crowd. Cool, huh? And Zack Grammarie was my daddy! Now that Magnify and Zack are gone, I have but one wish. Let it be I, Valent Grammarie, who brings the Grammarie miracle back to the big stage. I'm rooting for you! Miss Trucy, you cannot grow up quick enough. I need your skill by my side. One skill coming up! How do we manage to get off the topic of the case so quickly all the time? <laughs> At least she's kind of lined up. <laughs> For a career of sorts. That's true. That's one big piano. I've never actually played one. Heh. <laughs> you should get Mr. Wright to teach you sometime. No good. He can't play either. I kind of feel bad for the guy now. <laughs> Maybe now's my big chance. Stand back. This could be the debut of a prodigy. Ew. Did you make that noise just now? Um, let me try it again. Is she breaking it? <laughs> you know, I think something's stuck in the piano. Time to take a look under the hood. Huh. Look, this was stuck between the strings. It looks like some kind of switch. Someone must have thrown this into the piano. Switch placed in place. I thought there was like a broken key. Oh. And she was just like... <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering about that myself. No clues here. <laughs> it's a clue. Look at all the electronics. They must be sound related. Doesn't seeing a bunch of magi <laughs> magicians. Doesn't seeing a bunch of machines like this make you want to just fiddle with them? Can I, Paul? Please? No! No fiddling! You'll break something! If you're going to make an omelet, you gotta break some eggs! That's what Daddy always says. These eggs are kind of expensive. That does sound like something Mr. Wright would say now. Now that's a big instrument case. That's the case for the contrabass, I think. The contrabass! You could fit 20 violins in there, I bet. I mean, it may look like a violin, but it's a completely different instrument. You could fit five truces We've in there, I bet. We've already had this conversation. Yeah, hey, are you comparing me to an instrument? Hmm, I wonder who left it sitting open like that. It wouldn't let me advance the text faster, though. Alright, I think a lot of this is just repeat stuff then. Okay, back we go. She's like, mm. All right, uh, which dressing room? Mame was. Oh. <laughs> they, we literally didn't even get, like, the, oh, let's examine, oh, hey. <laughs> look at that. Hey, look, a part of the carpet's been torn up here. That was the part we did the luminol testing on in court. Luminol, right. You know what I couldn't stop thinking? Who's going to pay for this carpet? As long as it's not us. Maybe the shooter? I guess it's true what they say. Crime, crime doesn't pay. I would hope that carpet replacement costs weren't the only thing holding you back. Carpet's expensive. What if it's discontinued? Then you have like a weird unmatching portion. That's true. Oh, actually, wait. I think if we examine the fruit, because Emma's not here, we get something different. Look, it's fruit! Fruit Apollo, fruit! I heard you the first time. It sure has a lot of fruit. I doubt anyone would miss one bit of watermelon. I know. I'll make it vanish. Into my stomach. Better not. They might make you pay for it. And if you have the money for that, you should probably repaint the office first. Watermelons are that expensive? Mm -hmm. These could have been imported from some exotic locale for all we know. <laughs> That's kind of funny because in Japan, like, watermelon's super expensive. Oh. That's why. 
Uh, or a lot of fruit is. And pineapple. Yeah. Uh, and pineapple. No, uh, watermelon, I think, is like... Not all of them are this expensive, but I know some can be like $20. Dang. And it's not like a big watermelon. Dang. But it, but it's going to be like the best watermelon you've ever had. Oh. Because Japan does all fruits super well, except for pineapple. This switch sitting here, tempting me to push it. Don't. You might blow up the whole Colosseum. Paulo, please. To think that every strange switch triggers a bomb? That kind of old-fashioned crime drama thinking doesn't cut it in our bu busy times. All right, Trucy P.I., please enlighten me. What do you think that the switch does? Hmm. Maybe it turns on the electric razor in Prosecutor Gavin's dressing room. A switch as big as a razor to turn on a razor? Okay. <laughs> I mean, that's better than some ideas. <laughs> Gavin's just like, <laughs> like in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, dude? What the heck? He's like, this is the worst day of my life. <laughs> Uh, I guess we're going to Gavin here's dressing room? We literally just went there. Oh. You weren't listening. Um. Go to the, uh, go go to to the, the junkyard. junkyard. <laughs> Why can't we talk to Mr. Wright? He's just like vanishing upon vanishing. Maybe we need to present something. Maybe. Present the switch. Words cannot express my shock and chagrin. All I can see before me is this stage and me upon it. Nothing smaller, nothing less radiant catches my eye. True. You're getting on, on in these years. Not much time left to make your mark, huh? This is not how I was seeing it. So he doesn't care about what I have to show him. I get the point. Trucy, the way she forms her sentences are super weird. Ah, the proof positive of your profession, yes? Um, yeah. Might I have a look? Oh, what's this? It is gone. Ah! What'd you do with my attorney's badge? <laughs> Don't be alarmed. Miss Trucy, take a look into your tow pit if you would. Ah! It's your badge, Apollo. What's it doing in there? That was amazing, wasn't it, Apollo? He called that pouch at her waist a tow pit? Is that some kind of a magician speak? <laughs> a top it, whatever it is. I don't know. I've never heard that phrase before. I still can't believe we found Machi and Mr. Latus up there! Yeah, I used to not like high places, now I hate them. It's not like it would have been nicer if we found a dead body closer to the ground. Though, that reminds me, Daddy's bad with heights too. Huh, no kidding. Is that why he always comments on step ladders? Mm. He hates climbing them. That's just a weird thing. He took me on a Ferris wheel ride a while ago, you know? Halfway through, his face got all green and he mumbled objection over and over. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> That's great. He's just like, I'm trying to imagine the Objection. Like, Objection. Objection. Take that. Uh, Lemon You know Yo. this button. Do you think you could tell me about this? I'm sorry, but my information about the outside world is somewhat limited. I only know what I have heard or felt. Maybe that explains why she didn't react when I showed her stuff the other day. She was still pretending she could see that. Oh, wait, duh. We examine that thing. That's been lying there since the day before yesterday. It's small. Maybe no one's noticed it. I kind of want to pick it up. It'd make a cool souvenir, don't you think? It does stick out in my mind for some reason. Oh, really? Okay. Maybe we can... We took a look at your performance again. It was even better the second time. Thank you. That reminds me. That was an incredible illusion you pulled off. Illusion? When you teleported from one side of the stage to the other, remember? Uh, yes. Apparently they hired a professional magician. Valent Grammary. I was wondering, do you think you could tell us how it was done? I'm afraid I cannot. Mr. Grammary made me swear to never tell a soul. I was afraid of that. Hard to believe that I'm a magician if you can't keep a secret, you know? Ah, uh, I'm reminded that I wish to speak to you about something. Yes? When I was walking this hallway before, I stumbled upon a small device of some kind. It was lying on the floor. Device? Maybe you mean this? That's been lying there since the day before yesterday! Might I touch it? I thought as much. What? What did you think? This is one of our headsets. Everyone on staff wears one during a concert. 
I wonder whose this is. We use it for communication. It would be quite inconvenient should it go missing. We'll hold on to it for you then. We'll give it to Prosecutor Gavin when we see him. Why do we want to give it to Prosecutor Gavin? He'll twist it into some, like, stupidity thing. He doesn't really do that. He's a pretty not, honest prosecutor. Not really, which, that's, yeah. This is a much easier prosecution game for <laughs> most people. As opposed to, like, snapping fingers. <laughs> I, oh, here's Whipping an people. Here's an updated autopsy report. Here's a 500 degree coffee to the face. <laughs> Indeed, and then here is the obnoxious prosecutor. <laughs> he's also fine. <laughs> he's also he's fine. Terrible, he's but terrible, I mean... but he's more competent than... Right. Yeah. Yes, that is best. Thank you. So, can I put it on? Headset attached to Trucy. Attached? I'm not some kind of robot, Apollo. Everyone on staff was wearing one of these headsets. <laughs> Does Apollo say everything where it's like, okay, I've attached the headset to Trucy. It's just like, what the heck, man? It's, it's breaking the form. Oh, okay. Bit. This might warrant some fervor inquiry. Also, we have to present this to her right after we get it. Can I ask you about this headset, Lamoua? You said that all concert staff were wearing one? That's correct. You need them to communicate across such a large stage. Everyone on staff had one, of course. And all of the band members, too, I should think. So Prosecutor Gavin and his lackeys had them on, too, then? They're quite helpful, though limited. They only work within 30 feet or so. After all, they're only for use on stage. And a stronger signal would interfere with the sound system. Very true! Hmm, that makes sense. You'd think someone would notice if they dropped their only communications lifeline. So why was this one lying here? I think the main... yeah... They've really improved from headsets, I feel like. They still use headsets for some shows, but they now- They use headsets at Wendy's. <laughs> Indeed they do. They use headsets at my workplace. But I mean more for shows. They'll have like, they'll use like flashlights or something across yeah. the stage to communicate stuff. Or they'll text, honestly, yeah. they'll text. Normally the stage manager bill will still have the headset yeah, and be like, yeah, Ayo, yeah. um, what is happening? We hey, need this well, piece of- Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. <laughs> we need this set piece out in like two seconds. Twelve- er, ten four, that little buddy. This is Trucy reporting in. Over! Why the sudden silence? No one to answer. Don't be silly. What good is a receiver that doesn't receive? That's like Emma not performing forensic investigations. You make her sound like she's some kind of forensic investigation machine. Which is just silly. Unless she's a super high-tech android that runs on snack -hoos. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Fan the, what I'm is this? So, the high school musical I'm bad I'm so degree? happy that Emma is different in this. Yeah, me too. Otherwise, it's just like, well, now we've got two happy-go-lucky people. Well, maybe the previews will be interesting. There we go. July 9th, Lemma Wah's dressing room. Ah, indeed, you are back. Uh-oh. There's only one person I know who can munch with such venom. What are you two doing here? Hello, Emma. You're looking as grumpy as ever. Oh, am I supposed to be happy? You give me the second degree in court, and Prosecutor Gavin make me look like a fool. You're talking about the bloodstain, mister? Le <laughs> left. My department chief had a field day with that one. Even a blind person could see the shooter wasn't blind. <laughs> Funny guy, huh? <laughs> Even a blind person could see the shooter wasn't blind. Blind, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that bloodstain helped uncover the biggest mystery of all. Now we know that Mr. <laughs> was really with Interpol. We wouldn't have found that out without you. I suppose. Maybe that's why the chief gave me these after he was finished chewing me out. Said it was my reward. Are chocolate snack who's popular down at the precinct or something? <laughs> I was hoping we could check out the crime scene again. I really like to imagine that chocolate snack who's are like those chocolate covered like fudge graham cracker graham cracker sticks. Oh, I forgot about those. <laughs> Otherwise, I was thinking like of like teddy, teddy grams. <laughs> That's what I was thinking of. <laughs> Rectangular teddy grams. So just grams. So just graham crackers. <laughs> just graham crackers that she's munching the Maybe the chocolate-covered chocolate graham crackers stick. <laughs> oh my gosh. I forgot about those. Be my guest. You're not gonna find any clues in here. Though I did find something strange. Something strange? Oh yeah! Talk to her. I met my embarrassment quota for the year, that's for sure. Well, that's a good thing, isn't it? Um, how? I mean, think about it. Now you don't have to be embarrassed about anything else all year! 
If only it worked that way. It just bugs me to think that this little kiddo is smart me. It makes him even more suspicious now that we know he can see. He could have seen the air duct and he could have shot the revolver. But that's not how it sounded in Lalewa's testimony. You mean you're saying that she heard Detective Darian's voice at the scene? Hmm. That's right! Why can't we have a normal, straightforward killing once in a while in this country? I'll pretend I didn't hear that. That's one of my favorite quotes from it's the great. series, honestly. Great. Why can't we have a normal, straightforward, not blunt force trauma to head, not shooting revolver with two bullets on the wall with a blind kid? <laughs> That's great. Was it true what you said in court today? You know, about the case? About how everything was happening according to the song lyrics? The guitar serenade, you mean? I found the link, you know. First, Prosecutor Gavin's heart-shaped keyring was stolen. Then Lamewa flew through the air. Then Prosecutor Gavin's guitar caught on fire. And in the end, a bullet took Mr. Latus's life. And he went up into the sky with a guitar. Well, 30 feet up at least. It is kind of hard to chalk it up to a coincidence, hmm. I wonder if the lyrics still match up in the Japanese version. Probably. I mean, or, or if they would, had to change some things. I think they had to change some things for the this version. Because generally, when you translate Japanese, you'll have, like, the... This is what it says in English. And then it'll have, this like, This is the, what it means in English? Or this is what it means in English. And then it'll be like, but this is how you would say it in English. Because it would sound different. Yeah. Or you you wouldn't speak with such broken English. I wonder if they had to change, like, the... Da, 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 singing sound effects to match up the No, English I words. bet they didn't have to change it. That's kind of impressive, then. I bet they didn't have to change it. It's not super hard. I know, and I found it. You think the same person did all of this? Don't ask me. I didn't do it. Neither did I. I couldn't fit through that air vent anyway. What? You all think I did it? Sometimes I worry about that girl. I was just like, yeah. So, what did you find? It's so little, I must have passed over it yesterday. I found this under the sofa. What is it? Part of some device, I think. I haven't a clue what, though. The bit sticking out from the end looked familiar, so I hadn't examined. Turns out, it's an antenna! Ooh, Like on a beetle? Like on a cell phone. This device must be used uh, as an electronic signal of some sort. <laughs> no cell phones have antennas anymore! <laughs> they used to, though. Or like a TV back in the day. Or the car. The car antenna? They still have those. Yeah. You still, every time you go to a car wash, it's like, if we break your antenna, it's not our fault. <laughs> That's written on, like, every car yeah. wash thing. <laughs> Electronic signal, you say? Hmm. How about we present some evidence? Look at this switch! It's pretty weird! Or, or the headset. Do you think you could take a look at this, Emma? Emma? Her rate of chewing is increasing. Better back off Whoa, before it's too late. Whoa, the animation sped up. Yeah. <laughs> do you think we could, uh, do you think you could take a look at this? Hmm. A small device. Looks like a transmitter. A transmitter? You press this switch here and it sends out a single. Er, a single. <laughs> and it sends out a hit single. <laughs> it's early. Not really. It's like, what? No, it's not. It's, it's not that early. It's literally 10.07 a.m. Not that. <laughs> yeah, a signal. Uh, yuck, yuck, yuck. No idea what it's used for, though. A signal? You mean an electronic signal? What is it, Apollo? Say, Emma, you know that strange object you said you found? Oh, this? Let me try pressing this switch. Ah! It, it's on fire! Emma's device is on fire! What's the big idea? Well, now we know what this is. An igniter. The part here must work like a lighter. It nearly lit me up, that's for sure! Hey, don't look at me like that! I didn't know- I didn't do it on purpose! I suppose. At least, we're getting somewhere with this case. Hey, Apollo! Let's ask Emma more about this switch! Now that she has some first-hand experience! And first-degree burns on her hand. <laughs> I don't- I don't think it was like the whole uh, device caught on fire. I no. think it was just some of it. 
I, I just thought she was like holding it on the part that went off on oh, her. She's like, ow, ow, ow. Yeah. Oh, ow, 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 yeah. <laughs> what are you trying to do, burn me alive? Come on, it was just a few sparks. Says you, you weren't the one holding it. There's enough sparks flying around here just with the two of you talking. I ship it. <laughs> yeah, I, w I would, I would too. Anyway, now we know this is a remote for an igniter. Let's see that for a second. Well? Well, this is definitely a little transmitter. The signal's weak. Probably only reaches 30 feet. A transmitter, huh? Remote trigger updated in the court record. Incidentally, if you look at the cross-section diagram of the stage area... Are the dressing rooms under the stage? Yeah! Hey, That's very important to know! Let's see, 30 feet from Lamua's dressing room. Why would you say that's important to know? That's important to know because of the transmitting signals. Yeah. Because if it's only a few feet underground, it's not that big of a deal. Also, right. important to know because I've had dressing rooms under the stage, and they're really obnoxious, because you're, like, <laughs> dashing off the stage, and then you're running down all these stairs to, like, get down there, grab a swig of water, <laughs> and then, like, run back up. <laughs> grab a twigs. <laughs> they wouldn't let me- they wouldn't let me bring food! Yeah, normally, if you're in costume. No, you're... but normally you're allowed to have at least like pretzels or something. No, like, what don't... if a what if a speck of salt gets on your? <laughs> your... No, but normally you're allowed to have something. It's not like with you. It's not like I'm eating Cheetos. <laughs> no, don't eat Cheetos in your like Victorian garb. <laughs> Wipe them <laughs> on your shirt. <sure. laughs> but normally they would allow us to do something like that, and they're like, no, you can't have any snacks. Mm. So I just snuck them backstage and be quick. I had a different dressing room. This is what you get when you hire Marty. No, I okay. I had a different dressing room because all of my um, changes were quick changes for Belle. Oh yeah, so, she was Belle. That was Belle. So I was not even changing in a dressing room. I was changing between like a spot backstage and like a door with a curtain because they were like, mm, we need a curtain. I'm Incidentally, like, it's not that she was Belle, and Gaston is coming for dinner tonight. He is actually. <laughs> it's fantastic. Uh, it's, it's Belle's dream. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's funny. Okay, I read that already. Did you? Yep. That covers the backstage completely. It also looks like it would cover the stage. Or at least part of it. It kind of seems unlikely anyone would use this on stage. Forum diagram added to the court record. Guess I better get be, or guess I better be getting on with my investigation. We're off to look for more clues elsewhere then. It feels better just knowing what what this thing is now. I'll have to look into igniters a bit more later. Good luck! I'd like to know a bit more about igniters myself. Igniter added to the program. I know who Trucy slightly reminds me of now. Who? If you put a frog hat on her head, <laughs> she would look like Jenny! <laughs> as soon as he said frog hat, I knew. Who else do you know who has a frog hat? Me. <laughs> All these little parts, it's pretty complex. I'm guessing this is where the fire comes out. Other than that... Good thing machines run even if we don't know how they work! That's what Daddy always says. Not really a saying you want to go around repeating, Trucy. Well, okay. Anyhow, I think that's it for today, everybody. Thanks for watching. Tune in next time. Oh, oh, I know where we're going next. It's going to be pretty great. Okay. <laughs> Look forward to that next time. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.